see me or hear me very well. Um, I'm on the go reviewing rather than in a hotel room this time. Uh, it's been back-to-back -back shows in the same area, so I'm outside, rather nippy. Um, I'm outside the Fondazione Prada. This is behind me. Da -da 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 -da. Um, the Prada show was a little while ago. Uh, it was probably about an hour ago, maybe two. Uh, I'm going to show you the invite. So it's very windy, so bear with me a little bit. Here you have the invite. It's broken into pieces by string. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then a section of this is scannable. So if you scan it or you put it near your phone, um, it rather cleverly gives you the Prada website. Um, so very sneaky advertising there, Mutual Prada. Um, so very, very excited for the Prada show, as per usual. It's one of the main draws of Milan menswear. Um, and again, it was at the Fondation Prada as it was last season. Um, this time the set was fantastical. So um, last season we were on uh, Werner Panton plastic cubes. Um, this season an entire set created by, I think it's called OMA, which is an architectural company. Um, so foam kind of pointy, what do you call it, when kind of serrated uh, foam all over the set. Um, and wonderful like filament light bulbs all over the floor, divided by the um, serrated foam. Um, and the idea behind this is that it's trying to create a kind of science fiction, dystopia aesthetic. Um, um, so, but, but a Prada version, if that makes sense. So you can smell this kind of foam um, and you can see this amazing glow from the lights. There's fantastic classical music playing as everyone finds their seats. And as you walk, the floor is foamy. So not the best day for me to be wearing heels, I must admit. Um, but the pressure was really amazing. So kind of this um, almost like fun house, that, like a Prada fun house, if you will. Um, so already very excited and um, I'm very, very, very keen um, on science fiction. I'm a little bit of a nerd in that sense. So this got me very excited. I'm also very, very keen on Prada. So Prada and science fiction together has got me rather hot under the collar. Um, also the invite said men's and women's on it. Um, and normally there are a few women's looks in amongst the men's, but this show actually had quite a substantial amount of women's. I didn't get a chance to um, chat to Mrs. Prada backstage because it was an absolute scrum. Everyone was going bananas um, because the show was so fantastic. Um, so I'm not, I didn't get a chance to quiz her about men's and women's, but there was a lot of women's in there. Um, so I find that really exciting and the women's was very strong. Um, but I digress, I digress. So we're all sat in our kind of serrated foam areas. Really, really exciting. Um, everyone's got their kind of scannable invite in cubes. Um, I'm really sorry for the background noise, for the traffic and such, but um, as I said, I'm on the go. So uh, if you can't hear me, let me know. Um, so first it comes out and it's straight away, really um, classic tailoring, black, beautiful blazers. And the music here is absolutely fantastic. I'm pretty sure it's Frederick Sanchez that does the music, but I'll have to triple check. And I'm really sorry if that's incorrect, um, but I'm pretty sure it is. So the music really set the tone as well. So we already kind of know there's a science fictive element here um, and the music kind of hints to that as well. So there was amazing mashups of Monster Mash and um, uh, what's his name, Marilyn Manson's version of Tainted Love and all kind of really cliched, but in the best way, angsty, um, horror, kind of kitschy horror, if you will. Um, and there was another one, which I can't remember for the life of me, but all I want to do is the dance move, pelvic thrust, something like that. Um, time warp, that's it. So the time warp came on, which was amazing. Um, but as I say, let's talk about the fashion. So the kind of the hats that were there from last season, from spring, summer were, were back. Um, I think you call them deer stalkers. Um, but this time still with the nylon top, but this time really fluffy, furry ears and actually in, in bright blues and purples. And that kind of makes you think a bit of Mew Mew actually, the color tones and lots of jewels, jewel daz um, bedazzled, jumpers, cable knit jumpers, jewel bedazzled midi skirts um, and on the boys as well, jewel bedazzled shirts, um, 
kind of jeweled chains hanging off bags and bags were everywhere bags on bags on bags kind of holding bags rucksacks with furry things and diamantes hanging off them accessories overload but um, really fantastic and it's something that people have been doing for a while this accessories overload holding bags and holding more bags and holding handbags and tiny bags with chains and more chains on rucksacks and it was just it was a fantastic overload but it was really refreshing to see Prada try something that we've seen for a while but put their spin on it um, this felt really fantastical in the whole music and the idea behind this kind of monster mash of ideas was really fun and it it had the aura of something that could be quite dark but with the the tailoring they paid blah, 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 i'm waffling so Mucci had taken the nylon that's done so incredibly well over the past year i would say and put it into suiting and kind of made these half half jackets half dresses so the models were wearing kind of a nylon blazer that then went into a bandeau beautiful cocktail dress with rose print on it um, and also satin heels and actually thinking about it again that was very Miu Miu um, so it was almost like there's this Halloween-esque element to the theme, the set, the music, and now there's a kind of Frankenstein of what everything that everything that everyone loves about Prada. So the nylon's doing exceptionally well, the accessories do exceptionally well. Miu Miu is such a fan favourite, and this was kind of, and I don't mean this in a negative way. I mean it stands, it stands strong on its own, but to me it felt like a Frankensteining of the best bits of what Prada does, and. That literally came through in dresses with jacket arms with pockets on all in that black nylon but then it would turn into a cave on it and then it would turn into fur and then it would turn into not literal fur I mean fluffy fluffy shoulder um, shoulder pieces so it was just a constant morphing and mutating and and the final looks had jump oh sorry I'm waving this invite the final looks had jumpers that were um, kind of got scratch marks in them and it was almost like um, a cartoon again cartoon which I keep saying we had cartoon earlier with Sine Sunny I should say I keep saying cool, saying Sine and cartoonish with Marnie and this was really kind of a kitsch horror a kitsch cartoon of horror um, a bit like um, a bit like a yeah they played Adam's family tune and I can't and that, that suits it perfectly if you've watched the Sabrina series on Netflix you can imagine her wearing this outfit to her ball or or whatever it would be but it was absolutely fantastic and it took me a while to kind of get acquainted to it um, there was a point where and I think there's a point in most people's minds when you watch Prada if you aren't certain you begin to doubt yourself because Prada couldn't possibly be in the wrong it must be you and your noggin so I started to think and started to unpick and then the, mon the music changed the more kind of morphed monstery look started kind of developing and then these different textures and yellow cable knits with blue fairy shoulders and dramatic satin skirts and amazing shoes the most wonderful shoes for the menswear the shoes were almost brogues with a really thick um, soul as if you're kind of cross terrain as if you need to hike through the mud or dig up a body or um, and I'm putting narrative to the clothes now <laughs> because I um, didn't get a chance to speak to um, Yushia backstage but it, I personally found it wonderful it took me a while to get there throughout the show but it was really really wonderful and I can't wait to see it in editorials um, and on people on the streets I think it takes on a whole new story once you have um, Oh, sorry, I'm going all over the place. Once you have someone wearing it um, on the street, I think it's going to be wonderful. I really do. I'd, I'd love to see someone in a monster jumper or this kind of madness. There's been so much madness um, in Milan. Marnie was chaotic and wonderful, and this was controlled, kind of controlled Frankenstein looks, and I mean that in the absolute best way possible. Um, it was really, really fantastic, as you would expect from Prada. It's the main draw of Milan. Um, but yeah, I'm thoroughly thrilled. I'm very aware that I haven't given a negative review yet. 
um, but what can I say? <laughs> I'm thoroughly impressed. Um, I have more day of reviews tomorrow, so I'll keep you abreast of what's going on then. 